standing next to Bobo. Good work. Boa tarde. Eu estou aqui com a minha família toda. Cheguei na Austrália em 1966 e agora estou aqui há mais de 50 anos. Hello boys and girls. My name is Madeline. I've been in Australia since 1967. I arrived from Portugal and I was nine years old. Life here was very, very different to what I remember as a little girl living with my grandmother. In Portugal, I lived on a farm and I didn't even have any running water. We had pigs and cows. When I arrived in Australia, I arrived in a great big ship. It was called the Canberra. And the first thing I saw was the Opera House in Sydney with all the lights. Life was very different here. I went to school and I didn't understand a word of English. Today, life's a little bit different because they have teachers at school that help you learn English. In 1967, the decimal coin had just come in. So we had gone from pounds to dollars. So people are still having a little bit of trouble understanding the dollar. A lot of the older people were still about talking about in pounds and shillings. Today, I have a family that have grown up here. I have three children. My eldest daughter, Renee, she has three children of her own and she married a man from South Africa, John. John's parents are here also. We have Opa over there and we have Nanny over here and we have Jessica and they were, came from South Africa. And even though they spoke English in South Africa, life there was very, very different. They remember coming here and thinking that it was gonna be all the same, but culturally we're very different different sort of people and a different way of lifestyle. One of the things that they remember most is just a feeling of being safe here in Australia. We're very lucky because we're very, we've got a very safe country. I married a man who was born in Calcutta. Where are you Patrick? There he is over there and Patrick's parents are here. Margaret and Rich and they went from India to London. And then they went and they came, they had a choice of going to Canada or to Australia. And they came to Australia. Life for them was very, very different again, because here in Australia it was hot. And they remember getting off the plane in 1960, what year was it? I think it was 67 or 68. And they'd just come from, from um, London and it was so cold there. So they were wearing long johns and long coats and I arrived here in the middle of summer and it was boiling. So that's their earliest memory. It was Christmas day. So you can imagine hopping off a plane and just being really, really hot. My other children are Jessica. Jessica's married to David and David was born in Wales. So you can see we're a very multicultural family. And finally, I have Justin. Justin's over here. He's, he was born here and he has He's married to Christine and they have a little boy and Christine's just an Aussie. She's our Aussie girl, <laughs> belongs to our Aussie family. <laughs> just an Aussie, making us all just a perfect blend. Children, this is what Australia's made out of. People from all walks of life, all sort of different countries. We now have amongst, I have, how many grandchildren? I have four grandchildren. So you can see, from me, back in 1967, the little girl in Portugal, I'm now here, I'm a grandmother, and I have a big, beautiful family.